Okay, this video is a simple one. How to expand and contract your timeline. So if you want it to get smaller, you're going to hit Command, and then you're going to hit the negative key, which is in between the zero key and the plus key on your keyboard. So I'm going to go ahead and hit that one. Whoops, first of all, you got to click down in the timeline. And then you're going to go one, two, three, four. That's as small as it'll get there. If to expand it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press down on the command key and I'm going to hit the plus key and it's going to expand. And as you can see, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And then if I roll my finger over my cursor, we can go all the way down. You can see how big it got. You can also move it this way if you want to with the cursor. You got to put your cursor on it and do it. Or you just put your cursor anywhere and just kind of slide your finger across and it'll move your timeline. So now we've really expanded it. So I'm going to go in again and I'm going to hit the command. I'm going to hit the, the minus key and it's going to shrink until it gets to the point where it looks good for you to work on it. And that's how you expand and contract your timeline and how you move your timeline using your mouse. The, all you do to, to, uh, to move, move it uh, to the right is you take your finger and you go laterally across the top of your mouse. If you want to go to the left, you just go the opposite way. In the bar, you can slide left or right just by pressing your cursor on it and then holding it down. So you got to hold it down to do it. And that's it. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and check out my other awesome videos on how to use Final Cut Pro and how to edit your videos. Peace out.